we're going to start the mock submission class today. Today, we're going to focus on the beginning of mock submission, which is the beginning of the ceremony. Uh, mock submission is a, a ceremony kind of treatment. Um, okay, these are the tools. Before we start the ceremony, when we start the ceremony, we can light this. This is called a palacinto. Palacinto is more tall to the uh, open the space. And, uh, this is the sage. Sage is more like a purify the energy. Okay, well, would you please stand up? When we start the ceremony, we need to purify the patient's energy and the environment. We can use sage, we also can use maksa. This is called a mark submission. So mark submission is not only limited to using mark only. This is a typical smoke treatment. Because uh, this treatment don't produce too much heat, but the young energy goes to, go, go, go to the ear. Then we're going to ask the patient's intention. Why do you hear? Why do you come here? Or what? What make you come here? What, what, are, you, what are you looking for? So now I'm going to take them all. Face, face, face. We're going to light the box, box roll. Pressure stimulation to her face, which is the which is the reflex zone of her body.
first here. Huh? This is your hip. Yeah. Either the nudge here, mm -hmm. this is your hip. Palacinto, open the space, sage, purify the, the ear, and the maksa is more warm the body. I want you to stand up and walk, see if your knee can and hip can will be better. Um, I want you to come closer because uh, you can record my voice. You, you sit here, please. Uh, okay. Uh, now I'm gonna demo another mark submission treatment tool equipment. Break this. Put this inside. I let it sit there for a few minutes to warm the the cup. Later we're gonna do uh, gua sha cupping treat, max submission cupping treat. Now, uh, at the same time, I'm going to show you the other equipment. This is a Maxa bowl. Um, normally, when we do Maxa fishing, for levitated or suspended uh, burning material, we usually use the metal mesh, called metals. But this one has no metals. So you cannot burn the max fishing director on this because it is going to be burned the tissue. I mean, burn the, yeah. So what you're going to do is uh, you're going to add a, I, I chopped the ginger earlier. You're going to add a ginger. About half of the ball. Then you're going to,
like the Maxa. This is a low low process Maxa, because uh, I don't need a good quality Maxa to do such treatment. I'm gonna poke a hole, poke some holes so they can burn bad. Now I'm going to light it. After I light it, you will see there's a lot of smoke come to the ear. We don't want those such smoke, too big smoke, during the masturbation treatment. But we light up first, then we put it outside to let the smoke go outside. You can follow me. We put outside for about uh, 10 minutes. The ash is gonna, uh, the marks are gonna burn. And uh, the heat, the heat uh, is going to warm the ginger. This is very important because we don't want a cold ginger on your body when we do maxabition in this way, okay? Because if the ginger is cold, it actually suck your energy from your body. It does not give you energy. So we have to let the smoke out at the same time warm the ginger. Then when the smoke is complete out, you it's all like a, a, a carbonized, so it doesn't have smoke. Then and the ginger is warm, then you put on the stomach. So that thing's gonna be about five, 10 minutes. We will, we will, we will take it back. At the, at the same time, meanwhile, I'm gonna show you how to do this maksa kapi. Oh, before I do this, let me introduce. That one, I put a ginger to be a Padding stuff. You you can also put a salt for your padding stuff, for your padding, for your iso isolating stuff. You can put a onion. I didn't chop the onion. The onion is supposed to be chopped with green onion, not this kind, of, but this kind of okay. I'm just using this example. Uh, you can fill with ginger. I I. This sample, I buy the dry ginger. You also can fill with garlic. Same thing, chopped in small piece, about a half fill, and put a maksa, tight pressed maksa on top. And uh, you can also do the stone. Stone are very similar to the, to the salt. Uh, you can even add some herbal powder underneath the stone. So you, you actually can do herbal maxa fishing together. The, the earlier one we did is we, we used the loose maxa. So that when loose maxa burn, it come out a lot of smoke. You can also use the uh, maxa roll to burn. It won't produce so, so much smoke. And uh, you can add a top of another, so the, the smoke will be uh, blown. Let's see if I have Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna use yours to show. Thank you. Let's say if we burn this. If we burn this. If we don't put uh, anything, we have to insert into a needle, so it's it's levity. If we don't use this needle, we can put uh, on this and uh, add another one. The smoke is gone, right? Mm -hmm. Or we can put uh, this into the bag. You can either insert a needle to levitate, or we can put a uh, put a, the, the the medias, you know, the the padding stuff. 
what do you call it, spacer then we put this upside down we use two of these then we close the bag let's see very little smoke and then this smoke tells me the burning is slow and calm so the heat and the energy come out will be will be calm and slow if you see the smoke is big that means the burning is big if you see the smoke in peace see how peace the smoke that means it provides peace energy peaceful energy to your body so when I treat patients not only I feel the patients how hard it is I should read the smoke the smoke is going to tell me what kind of environment what kind of energy now if the patient is not calm enough the smoke is not calm if you are not calm enough the smoke is not calm so control smoke meaning control the burning speed meaning control the heat also meaning control your intention control your environment we can do this for three four five on the whole spine back of the spine so we can we can put this many on the patient's back look how beautiful okay. this is a, this is I call the low temperature low heat maxabition it's safe comfortable it gives you the original chi you know original heat to let your body absorb and transport your body needs the one that we burn outside like a, like a, like, a, like a we just made the one outside with ginger I call the high uh, maxabition high temperature maxabition because it's really hot, it's really hot, and it's very strong heat. Okay. If I don't put this into the bag, you will see there's a huge smoke. So you can burn three or five of this. The room is gonna be whole smoke. But but if you did the way I did, you know you barely have smoke. The smoke is no greater than an insect burn. So a lot of time in Western country. The clinic cannot do max fishing is because the smoke, because the neighbor complain. In China, my neighbor don't complain because they understand this treatment. But uh, in this country, the neighbor gonna complain and they will think uh, there's a marijuana or something, fire, you know something. So you're gonna control your smoke. Okay. I'm gonna turn off this. When you turn off this, just uh, wrap it with a, a foil. That's it. This is yours, right? I'm gonna yeah. put it back. I have another three, three extra. Plus this, gonna be four sets, right? We can do the whole spine. We also can do on the stomach. We can do two on the stomach to help uh, uh, menstruation and the female problem. This is why I have this, so for clean the table. Oh, I, I missed one thing during the ceremony, which is called the rapé. Rapé is kind of sniff stuff. Uh, usually in the ceremony, we want to open your chakra, open your, open, your, open your nose, open your brain, you know. We will let you inhale some kind of herbs into the nose. And uh, this rapé, is I made it by myself. It's very, very comfortable and uh, very, very, it's very good. I'm gonna let you guys try, okay? Okay, um, I'll put it, i put it on your oh, hand. You're gonna block one of your nose and uh, sneeze with it. Sniff with the other nose, like you bro block it, block the other nose. Uh, no, I mean, okay. This one? Yeah. You, yeah. Yes. Okay. Then, the, then this one. Block the, this one. The other one. Yeah. Okay. 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 You're gonna sneeze a lot later. 
<laughs> my medicine, this medicine is very smart. It goes whatever the, the problem is. You, you block yourself. Did, did you inhale? Okay. Usually in the ceremony, people blow to you, blow to your nose. They put it into a, a kind of a tube and blow into your nose. But you can do it yourself. <laughs> so it's just beginning after five minutes, you starting uh, sneeze, and uh, you will feel kind of buzzing in your brain, and uh, sometimes you, it will go to your ears, go to your eyes, depending on where your problem is. It goes wherever your problem is. Some people have an uh, uh, infection in their throat, they go to the throat a lot. So, and uh, the napkin in the front, in case you're going to sneeze, okay, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to, Now, uh, you can stay here, I'm going to take the, okay, as you can see, the smoke is much less than the first burn. But still, we still give a few minutes to let it completely burn out. The, the rest of the heat is going to last at least one hour. So don't think that, uh, oh, you wasted the heat, you wasted the, the, the moxa. No, you just spend 10 minutes to let the big smoke go. The rest of the heat is going to last for one hour. Okay, I'm going to still put outside for, for another five minutes. Now I'm going to study this. I'm going to light a little bit. This one was designed for you to light three of this piece. <coughs> one, two, three. But now I just use one. Now it's heated, it's warm, very comfortable warm. So um, I'm going to, you, okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I like it, you guys. <laughs> so enjoy the treatment. Okay, stand up, please. Uh, let me move my chair. Um, you're going to sit this way, okay? Is the camera okay? Okay. Oh, so you, so you prepared it today. <laughs> First of all, I'm going to put in some um, uh, oil for lubrication. You see, here's a curve. This curve is going to on your spine. So it didn't, it won't hit the spine. You can do this way or you can do this way, either way. So look, I'm gonna start it with the center from the beginning of the neck. <coughs> when we do this, our foot is shoulder width standing. The elbow is down. Don't 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 lift the elbow. Okay, shoulder down, elbow down, and the wrist sink your wrist, sink down your wrist. So the power, the, the, the press power is not coming from your arm. The press power is coming from your wrist, because if the press come come up come from your arm, you will push down the patient. You don't want to push down the patient. So you wanna sinking down your 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 wrist, so the power going to the neck. And uh, you have to be flexible. Don't don't do stiffness. Do yeah. flexible.
Okay, after we did the middle, we're gonna do the side way. We started from the left to right, left to first. Uh, there's a one, two, and the three. We break down the neck in three parts. A lot of time, we only do this part. When we do gua sha, when we do cupping, we miss this part. This part is very important. It uh, helps immunity, uh, cough, uh, weight, con weight issue, you know, uh, dampness like uh, uh, body water retention, all related to here because it has a, 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 a thyroid, you know. I have two sides. This is like uh, gears, this is like a uh, smooth edge. Mm. It just gives different uh, strengths. So I'm gonna use this more gentle side to this. Your neck is just relax, yeah. When we do more to the front, we need to do light because it's going to be more sensitive. Sometimes you will feel a lot of nausea in the neck. That is the stiffness, stiff, the stiff muscles. You're not bad today, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, when we do this, we do not uh, uh, try to make the the bruise out. Um, we let it naturally out. If it come out, it come out. You don't have to make it out. Sometimes when we first do it, we kind of feel good to oh those things out is good. But no, you don't need to. Just uh, do the way you want. Do the way you naturally do. And uh, if it come out, it come out. If it don't, it don't. If you force yourself <coughs> to let those uh, blues come out, you might be. Uh, too too strong for the patient. Okay, um, I'm gonna let this side do by the other one, under, uh, another person, so I can guide you. You want to try? Okay. Try on this side. My my clothes. I, I can I can do it on you later, but uh, you're gonna do it on her. Hit her. You're gonna treat on her. Oh, try oh. this. Oh, you like try this? Yeah. So I can I can tell you. You know. For this side, right? Uh, you want? Uh, yeah. <coughs> do you need to take a pause? Oh, it's okay. What are you? Huh? She already she started nervous. You want to put air? Or yeah, yeah, put it whatever you want. Put it whatever. Whatever put you want more. to do, uh, you have yeah. to use the oil. Mm. Otherwise, it's it's going to okay. Mm. Don't put too much, right? Just like you can put it more. It's okay. Put a lot. It's okay. It's a lot is easier to maneuver. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like this. Yeah. You see when you do this. You are using two sides, one this and one this. Okay. Maybe you can do one one side, or either this or this. So you're gonna turn this way. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. You can turn this way, so this side gonna be. Yeah. Okay. Gentle, huh? Very good. You have a strong hand. <laughs> Very good. Uh, 
Shere Shere has, has big hands. See, she has sense to do it. I, I can tell. She do a lot of housework, so she has sense to, to do it. Okay. Now, after it, okay, when you do this, you mm -hmm. might need to focus on here, okay. then here, mm -hmm. then here. Okay. okay. you finish this part, then go this part, then go this part. Oh, yeah. step by step. Step by step. Good. You see, when you do this part, mm -hmm. you, you're going to feel a little bit more detail. You're going to feel like, like here. You can feel nausea. This are the area she feels sensitive. Sometimes mm -hmm. this hurts her a lot. It will make her shoulder jump. Because yeah. the nerve hit, 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 hit it too. Very good. So when you're starting to do the front, you need to do more slow and more gentle, okay, and to feel it, yeah. And uh, if you do this uh, longer, mm -hmm. the patient will feel more comfortable. Like if we do this short, yeah, uh, she feel less comfortable. If we do this longer, 